All right, so these are the files. We have all of them here. All right, so let's start with the PDF. So I'll open it now. Yeah, so we have the analysis results here. So you can scroll through and then check whatever you want. But I will use the HTML. So I will open that using my browser. So there's a report.html which you can open. So let's open that using our browser. All right, the report has been opened. So let's enlarge the display. All right. So we have the measurements here. And we also have some plots here. So uh, you can combine both to make meaning or to make sense out of your data. All right. So with class, it performs statistical reference. So those measurements, they are done regardless of whether you supply it with reference sequence or not. And we also have some measurement that can be done or that are done if you supply class with a reference sequence. For example, mapping. So because we do not supply any reference sequence, we don't have the statistics with reference being displayed for us because it was not done. We also have our file here, our sample here. So if you are supplied class with more than one file, then each of the files will have a separate column and then the respective uh, values will be placed under them. All right. So let's take a look at the discussion that was done on the Galaxy tutorial page and then compare with what we have. All right. So let's go down. So this is the report that they got. And then we have some discussions here, some statements here. So here it says one can see there are two contexts that has been indicated here. So this one, let's do a quick discussion on that. So with quest, this first number of contexts here, whatever number you see here, those are contexts that have their size greater or equal to 500 BP that has been indicated here. And so sometimes maybe you perform some Linus commands to get your total number of contexts, but then you find that the number you had is different from what is here. That means that some of your contexts had their sizes less than 500 BP. So that's what you should note. All right. So if you want the total context data in your file, the original file, then you have to check this one here, context greater equals to zero BP. And that one will give you everything in the original file. So I thought I'll bring this to your attention. All right. So for us, we have three contexts and all of them have their sizes greater or equals to 500 BP. So that's fine. So let's scroll down. The largest context is 2927. That's what was reported here in this tutorial. And then comparing to this one, the sizes are almost the same. So here is 2927008. And then for this paper, the one that reported this isolates, they had 2976370. So they are almost the same. For us, we had 2907 that's what we had here so it's also slightly different but i would say it's almost the same so there could be a number of reasons one possible reason will be the fly assembly remember we had this note here telling us that the results can differ from this example here Okay, because fly can differ a bit per assembly. So that could also have affected our work. And then the other thing is that with genome assembly using fly, it's possible to do polishing while the assembly is going on. So fly allows you to specify an option for polishing. And so there's a default value, but it's possible to increase it. And so maybe if we had increased that number, we could have gotten something similar or we could have gotten the same as what was reported here so that is something you also need to take into consideration so if you have some of these measurements done and you compare to your reference genome 
but you can always try to improve it by doing polishing and then i just compare the polished one to the original one and then see which one is of higher quality or which one is closer to the reference sequence then you can use that for a downstream analysis so these are things you always have to do all right so the largest quantic here has this one so this could mean that the quantic is the total chromosomal dna of the isolates s aureus and so linking that to ours we also have this so the conclusion is the same from is the same as what is given here because we also have something similar and so you can try to improve it or you can use that for the drugs analysis so since it's not exactly the same there are a number of factors which i've made mention of and there could be others and so the most important thing is to make sure you have something very close to what you have and then maybe you can investigate why there's that difference um, later on so that's it another thing you can also use to compare is the gc content so let's take a look at this question it says what is the gc content and it says the gc content for our assembly is 32.73 percent that is what was reported on this page for mine gc content is 32.92 okay so with the MRC isolates GC content is 32.89 percent ours is 32.92 percent which is slightly above so they are almost the same they are almost the same that's the difference is not that much and so this also means that the length and the GC content of our assembly is good because the values are close to the MRSA, which is being used as the reference sequence. 